we're going back to Comic Con. We've got a bunch of work ahead of us. 1,700 hours of building. 4,000 hours. Hope it works. We are really excited about having Stratasys on board. They are one of the world leaders in 3D printing technology. I've been at Stratasys for six years now, and I've seen lots of different sizes, lots of different geometries. I've basically seen it all, but this is one of the biggest that we've had the opportunity to be a part of. 3D printing used to be known as rapid prototyping, which is a way to take a digital model, that is done in Maya, ZBrush, XSI, Rhino, any of those 3D modeling programs. It's like product development. You don't have to take it as a prototype and then mold it and cast it and go through that other process. Additive manufacturing is you're manufacturing the part. You're growing this realistic final part that just looks at each individual slice and it prints out one layer. And then the bed that it's sitting on, it's printing on, drops down and it prints another layer. And that's why they call it growing. So it goes right from the bed of the machine and has a little bit of sanding and finishing and then painted and it's done. The materials are strong enough to withstand the forces and the temperature and all the other stuff that you might need. It is an organic creature, but a good percentage of them, close to 35-40%, is hard surface, 3D printable parts. So what we need is talk about the parts that we're going to send to Stratasys to grow. So we want to send the arm, all the chest pieces, and the fingers as soon as possible. This is going to be a lot of modeling work, uh, so we're going to have to get this stuff going and out of here as fast as possible. You only have such a size tray, that part that you can fit in the biggest machines available. It's about 35 inches by 24 inches by 35 inches that we have to play with for the size of a part. If we're going to use a program called Materialized Magics to cut up the parts with keys to fit them on smaller machines, four machines finished that are smaller, we can put those parts together and have a big part that pretty much came off the 900. So this is one of the samples that we had gotten back from Stratasys. I'm gonna open this up and take some of this coring out just as a, a test to see how much lighter we can make it. Early on when we were testing on finger digits, we were trying to see what other materials out there, higher grade than ABS, that might benefit this project. As time went on and resources started becoming used, we had to hone in fast on a material that would just work in every area that we needed to. Strength, heat resistance, just being able to be beat up. For this project, we chose to use our ABS M30 material, which is our lower and thermoplastic material. And the reason why we decided to use this material is because it can be easily sanded, so it can be primed and painted. We also chose to use our 13,000 spill layer slice in our Fortis production system. And what this allowed us to do was to turn the parts around quite quickly. I'm That's reading incredible. Leslie's email that we just came from Michael Block on the total number of hours for our prints. Oh, what is it? Between 3,500 and 4,000 hours. What? Holy crap. Between 3,500 and 4,000 hours. It's wow. crazy. Currently, we have 10 of our biggest systems building these parts nationwide, our Fortis 900MC. The 900MC is the biggest machine on the line that can throw down ABS and other materials at that size, 35 inches by 24 inches by 35 inches. That's what we need. We want to get as large single piece volume parts out as quickly as possible, and a machine like that's going to handle it for us. I think we got everything out of water. As soon as they came back, we cleaned off the support material, and now they'll go to the model shop. Clean these things up, bondo, sand prep, fill. Think about attaching it in quarter sections for now, and then possibly seeing what reinforcements at the seams we're going to do and things like that. I don't think 3D printing will ever replace the human artists themselves. There's a lot that goes into the design prior to the build, and there's a lot that goes in after the build. So it's another tool that the artist has as they create cool masterpieces. This was definitely the biggest 3D printing project that I in the studio has ever taken on before. And there's no question about it, we're taking on more and bigger next year. So when we first started this project, we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. Originally we had 15 hours of build time, but towards the end we were at 3,000 hours of build time. It really showed the limits that we pushed ourselves being able to make a project like this happen. So a lot of hard work, a lot of teamwork had gone into this to make this creature come alive. Check out the Wired channel, thescene.com, for the entire Giant Creature series.